Oh. Hello. Oh, okay. That's a very shiny sword. I kind of like it a lot. Okay, Christina here to watch another movie. And today's movie is... Lady Hawk. It's a 1985 movie. It's fantasy. It has Michelle Pfeiffer and Matthew Broderick in it. I did not know that those two were ever in a movie together. I've always known that this movie existed. I just didn't realize exactly who was in it and what it was. I just knew it sort of came out at the time that a bunch of other fantasy things came out in the 80s. In fact, I think up here somewhere you'll see some of those like Labyrinth, The Dark Crystal, Never Ending Story. My childhood, pretty much. I think this was not for kids though, so maybe that's why I never saw it. I have not seen this movie, but I believe I've seen just a couple of tiny scenes out of it, like 20 years ago or more. You know, it was just on HBO and I happened to catch a few things. So I might know what the plot is about, but I'm not sure. I'm very happy to be watching it now. And that is also thanks to a top tier patron over on Patreon. That top tier gets to pick one movie that I watch each month. This movie was chosen by Red Dwarf. I really do love fantasy. I'm thinking it's romance. 80s movie, can't go wrong. Super excited. Okay, be sure to do all the things, like and subscribe. Visit me on Instagram and over on Patreon. Get all the behind the scenes stuff, full reactions, all that stuff. So enough talking. Let's watch. Okay, Matthew Broderick in a fantasy movie. Who knew? Rutger Hauer. That name sounds familiar. Michelle Pfeiffer. Okay. Definite little 1980s <laughs> flavor. Richard Donner. Uh, what did he do? Did he do Superman? I don't know. Okay. That sounds a little more fantasy. Uh, okay, now we're back to the 80s. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, now we're doing aerobics. Uh, I'm cool with it. <laughs> 1985. <laughs> wow, okay. Andrew Powell, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little speechless, obviously, with the music. I mean, it's great, but I feel like some kind of montage should be happening here. <laughs> Woo! It's quite the um, guitar solo. So the other thing is that um, it really looked like Labyrinth at first. Like, the font is kind of the same, and then there was a bird, a hawk, instead of an owl. Okay. Um, this is fantasy, right? <laughs> is this gonna be gross? I mean, I like fantasy, but sometimes it gets a little gross. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Why are they hanging people? Two more! I want Philippe Gaston. Gaston. <laughs> no one eats like Gaston. No one drinks like Gaston. I want Philippe Gaston, the one they call the mouse. The mouse? Mouse? Okay. No mouse today. He's run away. Okay. To ease the pain, he's down the drain. Oh. Hang him. Search every sewer, every drain. Nobody could escape through there. Uh, okay, there's Matthew. It's not unlike escaping mother's womb. <laughs> okay. I still don't really know anything yet. I just know he's called Mouse. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. I'm still getting a little thrown by the 80s stuff. <laughs> what is that? Is it... I will never pick another pocket again as long as I live, I swear. He's a pickpocket, okay. If you don't let me live, how can I prove my good faith to you? Good point. What is that thing? <laughs> remain steady as a rock. Yeah, okay. I don't believe it. False alarm. What? I'm coming. It's Philippe, Lord. Where, where's he going? Oh, that's a pretty hillside village. So, uh, ooh, look at that sword. Okay. So I don't know anything yet, but that's actually kind of the fun of it, isn't it? I'm a wonderful person. I think a lot of movies today sort of just spell things out a little bit too obviously. So is this like the time of the Crusades? Just just um, fantasy in, in general, but <laughs> with 80s pop fantasy, all right. Let's get physical. You sure it's not Olivia Newton-John instead of Michelle Pfeiffer? Okay, bells are still ringing. Everybody's still happy. One of the prisoners has escaped. Okay. Responsibility is mine. Yes. And you shall be hanged. Just hang everybody. <laughs> I used to get through the sewage system. Mm. I believe in miracles, Mark Kelly. I believe in miracles. It is only one insignificant petty thief. And a single random spark can ignite the fires of rebellion. If he's out there, your grace, I shall find him. <laughs> that one prisoner. If there's going to be 80s pop in here, then I get to reference songs. 70s or 80s, whatever. Okay. Mannheim Steamroller. Am I right? <laughs> it's a pickpocket, that's right. I know I promised you what. Never again. But I also know that you know what a weak worm person I am. It's kind of like Ferris Bueller, like... When he breaks the fourth wall, but he's talking to God instead. <laughs> Clever. Uh oh. He's code. Wolf! Please, no wolf. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Where is that? Like, for real, it's beautiful. Well, well that's not yours. <laughs> Am I supposed to laugh? Join me in a toast. Someone who has been inside the dungeons of Aquila and lived to tell the tale. I have seen those dungeons. I didn't say it was a prisoner. Oh. Uh-oh. If you had stuck to the woods, you may have stood a chance. Yeah. Oops. Get him. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. I can't help but laugh, but I love it. It's so perfect and cliche, and it's just everything. The shiny swords and the... <laughs> I love it. Oh, my dad, pokey, poke, poke. <laughs> just calm down. Like a teenager. Come on, guys. Oh, okay. So terribly sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's quite a bow. You. <laughs> oh, here, take this. Okay. Now he's got a shiny sword. It's a very shiny sword. I kind of like it a lot. 
Mm-hmm. Captain Laval. Francesco. Oh, they're buds. Okay. Captain. Oh! oh! Wait a minute. What? Uh. What is it, a big incense stick? Oh. Stop, drop, and roll! Uh oh. Oh! oh. Cool. Nice moves. Nice moves. And your little bird, too. Must be somebody's home. The smoke. Stop your chatter. We'll spend the night here. Are they welcome there or not? That's it. She's saying they're home? No. My comrade in arms and I need lodging for the night. Mm -mm. No place nope. for you. Mm -mm. Nope. Pay for it, of course. Watch <laughs> what you're flashing there. You may sleep down there in the bar. Thank you. It's a beautiful horse. What you doing there? Sir, are you there? There's nothing else I can do. I think I'll turn in. You can take care of my horse. All right. <laughs> or? And don't disturb me. I'm liable to take your head off before I know it's you. What's her name? <laughs> His name is Goliath. Goliath? I feel I should tell you a story about a teeny little man named David. Yeah. Uh, what you doing there, bud? Is that your blankie? Your, your jammies? I recognize those eyes. Where do I know him from? Blade Runner. Yes. I know him right. I know him right. Yeah, that's him. Look at me, Lord. I was better off in the dungeons of Aquila. He's a strange one, of ours. Why did he save my life? He wants something from me. I can see it in his eyes. Pretty eyes. Whatever it is, I'm not going to do it. Oh, who do you think's out there? I don't know. You better draw your sword, Pierre. <laughs> we'll all go back to the barn now, all right? Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> this is like fantasy Ferris Bueller. <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 geez. Why? Well, Oh, he did it. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Hello. She's so young in this. Don't go out there. There's a wolf and a dead man. <laughs> well, now he's dead. Miss, please. Maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe I'm awake. Dreaming I'm asleep. What happened to his accent? It was so cute. Little European fantasy movie accent. Uh -huh. I have not seen what I've just seen. These are magical, unexplainable matters, and I beg you not to make me a part of them. <laughs> Where's the dead guy? Come on, old girls. Come on. I mean, boy. <laughs> I could do with some rest myself after last night's going on. Okay, so it's the next day. Wolf would have killed me, but he tore the farmer's throat out and left me alone. There was a woman, like fine porcelain, with yeah. deep blue eyes. Yeah, she's really beautiful. What did she say? I asked her if I was dreaming, 
She said I was. This lady, she perhaps have a name. Not that she mentioned. Why? Wouldn't it be nice if I could call her by name and pretend we met before? I've waited a long time, such a lady. I had some sleep. So they're just taking a little nap? Were they, like, walking all day and he didn't mention that any of this had happened? It's okay. I don't need to know that. It's just the movie. It's okay. Nope. I keep bopping to the music. Music and... Okay. I'm not gonna bop. I'm not gonna bop. That's a cool set. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'd like to know where this was filmed. Uh-oh, he's here to deliver bad news. Have you found the criminal, Gaston? He is not in my custody this time. Navarre has returned. Who is this guy? The criminal, Gaston, travels with him. Must be a hawk. This hawk is not to be harmed. Is that understood? You see, the day she dies, a new captain of the guard will preside at your execution. The Lord Almighty visited me in my sleep. He told me that Satan's messenger is traveling amongst us, and that mm. his name is yes. Etienne of Navarre. Navarre. Surprise, surprise. So is he like the, the Duke, or is he the Pope? Or kind of one and the same. <laughs> Watch out, little guy. It's a big sword. This sword has been in my family for five generations. It has never known defeat until now. <laughs> this jewel is our alliance with the Holy Church in Rome. This one was my father's on the Crusades. Okay. Sir, you don't think no. I took that one? This is mine to fill. Oh. Well, where, where are you going to get that? And what is your quest? I must kill a man. Tell me. <laughs> does this walking corpse have a name? <laughs> His grace. The Bishop of Aquila. Okay, Bishop. Bishop. Yeah. I see. Okay. Well. Well, then, then you have much to do. <laughs> I do hope our paths cross again one day. I need you Farewell. to guide me into the city, not for the life of my mother. Uh -huh. The only one who has ever escaped from there. You will be my guiding angel. Me? There are strange forces at work in your life. Magical ones that surround you. I don't understand them, but they frighten me. I don't think that you would kill me for being what I am. But better that than to return to Aquila. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> that was a neat trick. I'll gather some wood for the fire. <laughs> Did you need the sword, though? That's just shooting the sword. Good morning. Uh oh. Where's Navar? Uh, I saw him riding south. Then we ride north, sir. Gonna bop? Nope, I'm not gonna bop. <laughs> oh no. Oh. 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 Oh, I hear a sad violin. Hey, Glenn, find help. There's a monk named Imperius. Give him the hawk, he will know what to do. You will do as I tell you. Careful. Careful. If you fail, I will follow you the length of my days. Okay. All right. No. And what are you going to do? Hello! Ah! This is no 
ordinary hawk, father. Mother of God. Bring her up here, boy. Ali! This way. Now, careful. Walk on the left side. I still really don't know what's going on, but it's so much fun. Don't be frightened. The mom was right. I know what to do. Aww. An animal rescue? We must wait a little. I don't like it when animals get hurt. <laughs> Mm hmm. There was a terrible battle. The hawk. The hawk. Was struck. Mm hmm. You know that, don't you? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you flesh? Or are you spirit? I am sorry. Hmm. Now I think I know what's going on. Ooh, right in the. <clears throat> okay. Oh, honey. Oh. Give me your grace. Cesar has arrived. That was quite a scene. <clears throat> now, who's this? The wolf, somehow it's him. Thanks, Crozet. <laughs> I shall never forget the first time I saw. It was like looking at... The face of love. Even his grace, the bishop, could think of nothing else. The bishop loved her? Oh. Loves me. He was a man possessed. Her heart was already lost, you see. Uh-huh. The tempting of the god. Uh-huh. Until... Until... Until what? Until? They were betrayed. By? They shared the same confessor. A weak and foolish priest. Oh. Uh, it was him, wasn't it? He revealed the lover's secret vows to the bishop. Uh huh. That's his own confession. So, Navarro and Isabel fled from Aquila. He called upon the powers of darkness for the means to damn the lovers. Mm -hmm. By day, Isabeau is the beautiful bird you brought to me. And by night, the voice of the wolf that we hear is the cry of Navarre. Mm -hmm. Only the anguish of a split second at sunrise and sunset when they can almost touch. Always together. Uh -huh. Eternally apart. <sighs> as long as the sun rises and sets. As long as there is day and night. As the world turns. You have stumbled onto a tragic story. You are lost in it. With the rest of us. Hmm. Wow. I like the timing of the reveal. This is great. They couldn't have kept that up for the whole movie. Okay, so I knew that it was like star-crossed lovers somehow kept apart. My traps are full. I can't kill every wolf that lives. And there's a woman. Beautiful. <laughs> He's got a bad... <laughs> she travels by night, only by night. And her name is... Isabeau. Isabeau. Find her and you find the wolf. You okay? Don't. You might start bleeding again. You travel with him, don't you? Sorrow. Oh, there's the sad violin again. You must save this hawk, he said. One day, we will know such happiness as two people dream of but never do. He said that. I swear it on my life. He's like uh, the friend going in between the two people that have a crush on each other, like in junior high. Like, Does she know? He said what? that she said that. <laughs> that you are the priest that betrayed them. I knew it. He has given me the knowledge to undo what I have done. I have found a way to break the curse. Oh. 
He intends to confront the bishop, to kill him with the sword of his ancestors. No, he mustn't do that. He can't if he kills the bishop. The curse can never be broken. Open up the door! In the name of his holiness, the bishop of Aquinas! Break it in! Walk on the left side, left side, left side. Left side, left side, left side. What happens if you walk on the right? <laughs> oh, I just broke his door. Uh oh, honey. You didn't wake up. Oh. Booby traps. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh. Stay on the left. Walk on the left side. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was rooting for him. Where are they going to go? Well, is the sun going to come up? Me. It's me they're after. Oh, no. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Watch out. Oops. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I didn't see that coming at all. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Ow. That's the side that was hurt. Okay. Can the sun come now and she can fly? There it is. That's it. That was a cool transition with the voice. I mean, the visual was limited 1985, but wow. Oh yeah. What about him? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where's the woman? She flew away. <laughs> she flew away. You young Oh, right. Sun up. Hey. <laughs> I thought you might have been dead, old man. There were times I wanted to kill you myself. Yeah. But I'm very grateful. Because God has told me how the curse may be broken. Okay. You have betrayed us once, I warn you. All you have to do is confront him. Both of you has man and woman. How's that gonna happen? Don't they get like one second? But three days hence, in Aquila, there will be a day without a night. And huh? a night without a day. Solstice? No. Wait, old man, go back to your drink. Uh, an eclipse? I swear to you! God has shown me! Has he shown them? Oh, yeah. I'm in your debt. She wanted me to deliver a message. To say she still has hope. It's a note. Faith in you. And you and Lady Hawk will be going on to Aquila? Lady Hawk? Title name. I'm heading in that general direction myself. Really? It's a good story. He wants to see how it turns out. Then you better grab your things and leave. <laughs> Lady Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So he's got to be talking about an eclipse, right? A total eclipse. I am in the path of the upcoming total eclipse. The pathway of totality. I'm excited. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Find shelter. Take care, lady. Tell her I love her. No, oh, that's a serious note. You understand me, Lady Hope? <laughs> Serves me right for getting involved in this nightmare. A night without day, a day without night. Mm -hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Uh-oh, sunset. I'll wait outside. <laughs> Give me some privacy. Miss? Miss? How is he? Give her the message, though. He left you in my charge. Tell her we two speak as one. And 
she will follow your instructions as my own. Really? Mm hmm. Tell her what he said. It's taking us back to Aquaman, isn't it? Well, what do you instruct? To listen to bright music cheerfully played, perhaps dance. Okay. Shall we, my lady? <laughs> These two are a funny pair. <laughs> so, you intend to be my protector as well, eh? <laughs> if you can lift the sword. He'll kill me if I lose it. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. Isabel. Isabel. If you lay one hand on her, you will find it on the ground next to your head. Oh, where are you going? Okay. <laughs> Why are you doing this, honey? Did you really think that that was his pelt? Ew. Is she going to get it or is Goliath going to get it? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 no! <sighs> okay. Oh. I got him in the face? Wait a second. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Okay. Huh. Well. <laughs> sort of resolved itself a little bit. <laughs> He's probably tired. When does he get to sleep? When do any of them get to sleep? <laughs> what? Yum. Good morning. You look a little pale. I got you something to eat. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> oh, nothing I couldn't handle, Captain. There she is. Uh. Go on, Lady Hawk. Last night. Oh, well, first we had to go to a stable. Fly to your master. Fly to the one you love. What did you do in a stable? <laughs> we changed clothes. What? They're not together, of course. You left her alone? No, never. <laughs> it's not going well. <laughs> He's gonna kill you. <laughs> She's the most wonderful woman that ever lived. But the truth is, all she did was talk about you. But he didn't give her his message. Every moment you spend with her, I envy you. Yeah. Tell me everything she said. She was sad at first. She talked about the day you met. And she cursed him. But then I saw her remember how happy you were together. She loves you more than life, Captain. Do you know that parks and walls made of life? With each other? <laughs> wow. Okay, the romance is just really... Yeah, just... What a great plot. In two days' time, you can face the bishop in the cathedral with Isabel by your side. Oh, he caught him. And break the curse. How will you get inside the cathedral without me? I will get in without your help. Thank you for trying, Philippe. Must be weird to never see the light of day. There you are, little mouse. I didn't want to tell you until I believed. I think we can break the curse. Yeah. You were never? No. Yeah. We're just covering the trap. All right. Okay. Right. They're setting a trap for the wolf. He's coming across the ice. Oh! 
Oh no 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 no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, he's in there with him. Oh no! Oh yeah, it's a wild animal. Okay, that's the problem. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, now work on the hypothermia. Oh, <laughs> poor boobs. Whew. Okay. Do they get there one second? What was that? Oh. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Look at her, look at her. <laughs> oh. I got so close. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a good story. Tell me one thing. Where's my father's sword? It fell through the ice last night crossing a river. Damn you. The jewel that you wish to place in your sword hilt has become a symbol of your meaningless death. But there's a chance for life now. A new life with her. You never cared for her as much as yourself anyway. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Who's that? That happened last night when you saved your life. Yeah. It was you. <laughs> Forgive me. Okay. Aw. Okay. I recognize that place. We have come full circle, Lord. I would like to think that there is some higher meaning in all of this. He has to go back in the sewers. I'm nervous. <laughs> I know how he feels. So this is the day of the confrontation. You're great. It's gotta be an eclipse. <laughs> he really is right back where he started. Don't get caught. What's he gonna do? With his little teeny tiny sword. Boop boop. <laughs> boop. What's the matter? Rats. <laughs> I guess it was a mouse, but Ooh, grab a rub there. How are they gonna get in? If Philippe has done his job, I can kill the bishop now or never. The service ends peacefully. The cathedral bells begin to toll. And you will know I have failed. I. Mm -hmm. He's got a little hat on. I beg you, take her life. Quick, painless. I have tried the two of them. The cruelty will be to damn her to a half life, and that is not what she wants. Music. Ooh, okay. Oh, 
okay. He did it. <laughs> okay, prancing in. Oh. oh, that's a joust. Okay. Whoop. Yep. Uh oh. Mm hmm. Now they can see the eclipse. And he's coming. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Don't look at it. You're not supposed to look at it. You need the special glasses. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Well, shouldn't shouldn't it's she serious. be there too, though? Wait. Dang it! Get out of the way! <gasps> oh no! 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 Wait! Don't ring the bells! No! Don't ring the bells! No, he's not going to do it. No. God forgive me. Don't you dare. It's like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Get it out and fuck it. It's caught. I still understand how we found it. So they, they found it, they they had it, and they put it under the cart that they rode in on or something. Oh, what the hell is it? A neat trick. I kind of would have liked to have seen that in real time, you know, instead of slow motion. But that was still, that was, it was cool. The eclipse might be over soon, though. It only lasts, like, um, four minutes. But kill me, not I. And the curse will go on forever. Right. He's a boy. He's dead. Damn you. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, hurry up! You only have like ninety seconds left. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, now what has to happen? Look at us! It's over. It's broken. <gasps> Go to her. <laughs> You're going to get it. Now go back to him. Uh, I'm still a little bit worried. Okay. Um. Oh no! no. Okay. Yeah, there you go. See? <laughs> mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> you too. Come back over here. May God's blessings be with you both. And you. Aww. The truest friend I could ever have. My body is meant to meet you at the burning gates, little thief. Don't you dare disappoint me. I'll meet you there, Father. <laughs> Even if I have to pick the lock. <laughs> well, yay. Well, and they got to sort of dance there at the end, you know. I gotta bop a little bit now. Okay. Okay. Enchanting. It's enchanting. That was so enchanting. And completely goofy in the 80s and <laughs> Ferris Bueller and that was great. I loved it. So I love the fantasy genre. I think I see why I didn't see this in the 80s because it is really more about the romance and I was more into adventures like The NeverEnding Story and Labyrinth. And, and actually I'm seeing a lot of those uh, like pop up on the screen <laughs> for suggestions, like customers also watched. <laughs> I see the labyrinth right there. So this was full of cliche moments, like Dark Ages, Crusades. Obviously this was just post-Crusade, because he said that his father was in the Crusades or something. And they talked about the plague. That That's actually what's interesting about this, is that it's, it's in, like, real life, like, on Earth, talking about Rome and <laughs> the church and, you know, and then there's that little twist of magic to the point where the clichéness and the, the comedy almost made it seem like the magic part of it was not going to happen. Like, I, I think because it was so based in real times with real types of people that I think the magic almost out of place and to take you by surprise. But that's really cool. I love that. Matthew Broderick. This had to have been right around Ferris Bueller, right? It's mid-80s, right? He basically looks the same, sounded the same, acted the same. Totally cute, adorable. I loved him in this role. This was great. It really was like the Crusades version of <laughs> Ferris Bueller. Almost breaking the fourth wall, you know? But with his like outward prayer, it's, I love it. That's great. And the old guy, the monk, <laughs> so cute. Michelle Pfeiffer was just gorgeous in this. They really were able to um, capitalize on her beauty. The first scene where they showed her, you know, the first time she appeared, it was just breathtaking. It just really took my breath away. Her haircut was a little funny, but, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> it was the style, princess die. But I understand when you're in the midst of a magic spell. After a couple of years, you, you know, I, I understand you want to cut your hair, just you know, get out of the way. And then Rutger, whatever his name is, definitely the guy from Blade Runner. And he was a pretty deep character in Blade Runner. No spoilers there, I think. <laughs> I, I was really happy to see him in, in this movie, just to get to see him in a different role, different context. That was really wonderful. I believed that those two people really loved each other and I believed that like all of the other people involved kept falling in love with her <laughs> they made her look so beautiful I was 
almost afraid at the beginning that I wasn't going to be able to believe whatever the story was going to be because of the cliche-ness, but it drew me in. I was on the edge of my seat for some of those scenes. It was great. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this. And of course, we're just going to pretend that everybody lives happily ever after. Like, for real, you know? Why not? <laughs> that they do truly love each other and, you know, they'll be happy forever. The cinematography was beautiful. I think it was in Italy is where it was filmed. I saw a lot of Italian names. I don't know. But then all of their the characters' names were French, so and they were talking about Rome. Back then, the countries are not what we know them today. Loved the idea of the eclipse, like I mentioned in the reaction, that there is a big eclipse coming up in the near future. And I happen to be on that day. I will be in the pathway of the totality. So if anybody is under a curse, now you know where to go, right? <laughs> Is this movie gonna come up? Maybe this movie will come up. <laughs> In case I've been used to break a curse. Ugh, that's funny. The fighting scenes were good. They went on a little bit, but they were you know, pretty good. And then I keep saying it's cliche, but um, maybe not for 1985. And uh, I think the little comedy parts of that, I think it's um, intended. But the romance part of it really stood out to me. Totally won me over. I didn't mind the Mannheim steamroller all the way through the movie. <laughs> it was great. This is definitely one I would watch again. Okay, so thank you to Red Dwarf for requesting this one. I'm so glad you did. I'm thinking I got out of it the same thing that you like about this. And thank you for sharing. <sighs> and Richard Donner. I can't remember. That's, um... Oh. Didn't he do one of the Supermans? Or did he do Blade Runner? Okay, I can't stand it. I'm looking it up right now. I always ask these questions and everybody's so kind to uh, answer them, but I need to know this right now. Yeah, Superman, I was right. And the Goonies and Lethal Weapon. Okay, I haven't seen that, probably should. Okay, I referenced the Goonies in this with the booby traps. That's funny. <laughs> Because I was not remembering that he did the Goonies. That's great. Okay, well, th th that's good. That just means that, you know, I picked up on his little fingerprints. And, and in the Goonies, there's a Superman moment. If you know, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, this was just so much fun. Thanks again, Red Dwarf. And thanks to everybody else who watches the channel. And those who support me over on Patreon. Really appreciate everybody couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to leave comments. I always ask a ton of questions. Go ahead and answer them, except for the one I just answered myself. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm also on Instagram a little tiny bit. And as always, just remember, you don't have to be perfect. Just be okay.